Hello and welcome to our technical training series on the Inverter series from Inhand Networks. I'm Zila and I will be guiding you through the essentials of configuring and optimizing your inverter devices for robust and secure network operations. Whether you are setting up a new network or managing an existing one, this series will provide you with valuable insights and step-by-step -step instructions. Our training is designed for network administrators, system integrators, and technical professionals who want to get the most out of their in-router devices. By the end of this series, you will be equipped with the knowledge to configure, manage, and troubleshoot your in-router setups confidently. So if you're ready to take your network management skills to the next level, we'll get started with our first module on how to get the internet access. Using the Ethernet cable supplied, connect one end of the cable to the LAN port on the router 302 and the other end to the PC. Then the LAN port is flashing. Navigate to LAN IP address. Fill out the username and password, then enter login. From the navigation tree, select Network Cellular. Cellular is enabled by default, so you just need to modify the parameters if necessary. Select the carrier from the drop-down menu. Once selected, the following profile will be filled in automatically. You can also customize your configuration, but don't forget to apply. Go to Status Network Connection to see if the router gets an IP address. If not, you'd better check the modem status, see if it's registered. Go to Network WAN. WAN port is disabled by default. Select DHCP for one connection. Click Apply. Wait 10 seconds for it to take effect. Go to Status, Network Connection. See if the router gets an IP address from DHCP pool and the status is connected. Go to Tool, Pin. Check whether the router has access to the internet. Fill out a reachable public IP and click Pin. No packet is lost. Go to Network, switch WLAN mode, select STA. Click Apply and wait for several seconds for it to take effect. Reboot after apply the configuration. Go to System Reboot, confirm. Login to the router again. Go to Network WLAN Client. Apply the default configuration first. Click Scan, and then connect to the AP. Fill in the password. Click Apply, and wait for a sec for it to take effect. Go to Status WLAN, check if it's connected. Go to Network WAN STA, select the type for a WAN port, DHCP for example. Click Apply. Go to Status Network Connection, making sure the WAN STA gets an IP address and the status is connected. Go to Tools, Pin. We can try to pin an accessible public IP to verify the connection. No packet lost. Now you can connect to the internet using this Wi-Fi router. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates and training materials. If you have any questions or would like to share your experiences, please leave a comment below. We love hearing from you and your feedback help us improve and make our training even more helpful. You can scan the QR code to view our full range of in-router products and make your purchase directly. We look forward to seeing you in our next video.